Let's talk. This is day 11 and I'll be talking about chilling statistics on GBV and the reference is World Bank. The first one, GBV is a global pandemic. It is not just a global issue. It is a global pandemic that affects one in three women. Like literally all over the world, one in every three women you walk past on the road has experienced gender-based violence before, either sexual violence or physical violence or female genital mutilation. 35% of women all over the world have experienced intimate partner violence, physical violence, and or non-partner sexual violence. They've experienced physical violence as well, either from both their partners or complete strangers. Globally, 7% of women have been sexually assaulted by someone who isn't their partner. 7% have been raped by complete strangers, by their uncles, by their father, by their neighbors. Now this one blows my mind. It's absolutely blows my mind. Glo globally, 35% of mothers, female mothers, were done by their partners, by their intimate partners. I'm telling you that 35% of women who were murdered were murdered by someone who they called husband or boyfriend, by someone who they trusted and loved. And this breaks my heart because more recently, something happened, a news trended online here in Nigeria that really opened my mind to see that this is actually an issue that is rising every day. 200 million women have experienced female genital mutilation or cutting in the name of female circumcision. That is chilling, if you ask me. In some countries, violence against women costs up to 3.7% of their GDPs. That's more than double of what governments invest in education. I feel like that's really crazy. Like, that's absolutely insane. And I'm sure you can decode it on your own. Now, the last one is the more heartbreaking one, if you ask me. Children who grow up seeing sexual violence happening around them are very likely to experience sexual violence or to be perpetrators of sexual violence. That should make you think. Thank you for watching today's episode. We'll see you tomorrow.